Well, we're here at the Brushy Mountain Apple Festival in Wilkes County, North Carolina. This festival has been going for a long time. It started back in 1978, and it's been growing ever since. About 100,000 people come from all over the region to enjoy this festival that brings together all sorts of wonderful things. There are over 400 art and craft exhibitors. There's music, there's dancing, there's great food, and yes, of course, there are a lot of great apples. Come on and let's see what's going on right here at the Brushy Mountain Apple Festival. The first Saturday in October is when North Wilkesboro comes alive. There are all types of great festival foods and freshly made ice cream is certainly a festival favorite. There's something special about seeing it made right in front of you. Somehow, it just tastes better. Seems like there's happiness and smiles everywhere. But it washes out. That's just for the day. Of course, while we were here, we had to stop in and see our good friends at Cali's. Just a, they're just a complete frenzy. Look at that. They're just, make coffee, make stuff. Well, you know, when you go to a great apple festival, there's more than apples. Caffeine helps keep you going. You guys start what time, Kathy? Start at 7.30. And I don't know how many cups of coffee you sell, but oh, I imagine... Hundreds. Hundreds and hundreds of cups of coffee. And it's delicious here at Talia's in North Wilkesboro. Very nice. Yeah. Those extra seven shots will get you through the day. Maybe this is close enough for me. Now that's how you stay healthy as a medic. This is clear apple cider. Well, you know, we run into everybody here at the Apple Festival. Here's Eric Mathis. Eric, you're in, you're in your attire. You're working on a, You and Jared uh, Schumacher are working on a, uh, a World War II movie. How's that going? It's going great, Carl. Yeah? Uh, the name of the film is Bullets in the Echo. Carl, we've uh, traveled to uh, Texas, uh -huh. uh, Tennessee, South Carolina, Kentucky, and then, of course, we filmed uh, so much of the film here in North Carolina. Yeah, also. sure. When this film comes out, what can people expect to see? A film about the, the glider infantry. Uh, we felt like that was a part of World War II history that's uh, been vastly overlooked. Right. There's been a great deal of focus on the paratroopers, and what people don't realize is, is that with each paratrooper mission, there was also a glider mission that went in with the paratroopers to provide them with the backbone of their assault. And you're doing it right here in the Carolinas, and it's good fun. Mm -hmm. Yes, it is. All right, great. Yeah. Thanks a lot, Eric. I appreciate Thank you, that. Thanks a lot. Wow, Daphne's tiny. <laughs> Another great thing about this festival, it's pet friendly. You'll see dogs of all shapes and sizes. Now that's a dog. <laughs> How many apple pies you sell during, a, during the apple festival? 5,000. 5,000 apple pies? We're normally out by now. So that's a real fireman. He puts his hand right yeah. into the fire. Ah, oh, the smell of it gets him coming over. Yeah, well, works great. Yeah. This stove was made in the mid-1800s. Wow, wow. It's just getting a pie. So I want you to tell us what, go ahead. It's very hot. Very hot? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> We got a medic over here. Okay. There's a whole lot of them. Really no good. Problem. We're on the Apple Patrol, though, so yeah. tell us about the. Uh, he's smiling because yes. he's getting money. There you go. All this money goes to help do things with the firefighters. Yes, we're doing it to buy a fire truck right now. They're going to buy a fire truck, yes. so eat more apple pie. <laughs> I like a sweet apple. You like a sweet, so you'd like the uh, Fuji apples or the Gala apples. You like, because the Granny Smith's going to be tart. The Johnny Gold is kind of in the middle. The Red Delicious, you know what that is. So, but the sweeter would be the, the Fuji or the Gala. 
What about cooking apples? Uh, Granny Smith. Granny You'd Smith. want to do a Granny Smith for cooking. Uh, you can cook any apple because it's an apple and there's no defense for it. So, so you can, but Granny Smith, they're, they're more tart, so you know how that is and when they, they, they cook up sweeter. Uh -huh. Strange how that happens. Thank you. Thank You're welcome. You. You're welcome. I know a lot about apples. You like apples? You like apple pie? Yes, sir. You like corn? Yes, sir. You like blooming onions? Yes, sir. You like music? Yes, sir. You like dancing? Yes, sir. You're at the perfect place, aren't you? Yes, sir. <laughs> What's your favorite part? All these people. All the people. <laughs> yeah. Corn on the cob. Corn on the and cob. And the blooming onions. And the blooming onions. Oh, onion. Absolutely. So everybody loves mac and cheese. It's my favorite. Everybody loves macaroni. It's three cheese macaroni. Pickle. Check it on stick. Pick on the back. Can't beat it. Look at that. We have a farm, alpaca farm, at Chris Scott Lake, right on the lake. The alpacas have a nice view. An alpaca hat. Okay. One other thing about this here, it won't make you sweat. No sweating? Okay, so if your head sweats and you're in a cold area, you're right. going to feel cold. Yeah, yeah. So this will whip moisture to the outside. From the outside. Okay, thereby the, the moisture evaporates, your head stays dry. Your feet so, stay dry, okay? When you wear alpaca socks? Feet dry. And when you take your shoes off, you don't have to clear the room. <laughs> they smell good, they make your feet smell good. All right, folks, so there you go. The cure for smelly feet is an alpaca. <laughs> Thank you. Appreciate it. How great that worked. Uh, yeah, thank you. So tell us about these heritage varieties that you're preserving. What I try to do is find some of these apples that people knew about a hundred years ago and I found over 900 varieties. I take cuttings and graft them and sell trees and donate to preservation orchards to try to get them back in circulation so they don't become extinct. So folks, I guess we need to do our part and maybe uh, get ourselves some heritage apple plants and yes. put them in the backyard and, yes. and grow them and uh, share them with our friends, right? Yes, sir. Yeah, they're better that way, right? Yes. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you. What a great time we've had here at the Brushy Mountain Apple Festival in North Wilkesboro, North Carolina. Well, people are having a great time here. Music has all over the place. Wonderful arts and crafts, and of course the apples. Now, this is a stamen apple. A stamen is a great apple for cooking, it's a great apple for making applesauce, and it's also a great apple for eating. Oh.